The Life and Sad Ending of David White David White was born April 4, 1916, in Denver, Colorado. He and his family later moved to Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. White graduated from Los Angeles City College and began acting at the Pasadena Playhouse and the Cleveland Playhouse. He enlisted in the United States Marine Corps during World War II and, after his discharge, made his Broadway debut in 1949 in the original play, Leaf and Bow. White appeared on numerous television series in the 1950s, including One Step Beyond, Delusion, where he played police officer. He made two guest appearances on the CBS courtroom drama, Perry Mason. In the late 1950s, he became an increasingly familiar face on American television, following a strong performance in the film Sweet Smell of Success in 1957, in which he played the smarmy fellow who gets a dalliance with the unwilling Barbara Nichols in exchange for a favor to Tony Curtis's Sidney Falco. In 1960, he played Henry de Garmo in The Case of the Madcap Modiste, and in 1963, he played newspaper editor and murderer Victor Kendall in The Case of the Witless Witness. He also appeared in Sergeant Bilko, Peter Gunn, Mr. Lucky, The Untouchables, The Fugitive, Mission Impossible, Father Knows Best, Bonanza, Have Gun, Will Travel, My Favorite Martian, and Dick Tracy. Also in 1963, he appeared on Alfred Hitchcock Presents as Detective Burr in An Out for Oscar and as Lance Hawthorne in The Dark Pool. Though primarily known for television work, White had several memorable supporting feature film roles, including portraying a sleazy columnist in Sweet Smell of Success, 1957, The Apartment, 1960, in which he played a philandering executive, and Sunrise at Campobello, also in 1960, and The Lawbreakers, 1961. In 1964, White achieved his greatest fame as he was cast as sycophantic advertising executive Larry Tate on the hit TV series Bewitched, a role he inhabited for the show's entire run, 1964 to 1972. The character is president of the McMahon and Tate Advertising Agency, workplace of Dick York's and, later, Dick Sargent's, Darren Stevens' character. Many of the show's episodes revolved around Tate's attempts to land lucrative advertising accounts. This is the role for which he would become best known, both during his life and posthumously. Larry Tate's baby boy, Jonathan, was named after White's son. White also directed one season six episode of Bewitched, Sam's Double Mother Trouble. Following the end of Bewitched, White was a popular character actor on numerous television series for the next decade ranging from The Love Boat, Remington Steel, The Rockford Files, Columbo, Identity Crisis, What's Happening, Rhoda, Quincy, M.E., Cagney and Lacey, and Dallas. He played the role of J. Jonah Jameson in the pilot episode of the television series The Amazing Spider-Man. His final role came in 1986 on an episode of Dynasty. He also appeared in the movies The Happy Hooker Goes to Washington, Disney's Snowball Express, and had a prominent role in the 1985 version of Brewster's Millions, starring Richard Pryor. In his personal life, White's first marriage was to stage actress Mary Welch. On May 31, 1958, Welch died of complications from her second pregnancy. Their son, Jonathan, died on December 21, 1988. At the age of 33, in the bombing of Pan Am Flight 103 over Lockerbie, Scotland, White married actress Lisa Figgis in 1959, with whom he had a daughter, Alexandra. They were married until his death. Sadly, he died of a heart attack on November 27, 1990, in North Hollywood, California, age 74. He was cremated and is interred at Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Los Angeles, California.